Servants are listening. Jesus. Just hear the Lord speaking. I see him. 
A world reborn, a world reborn. Well, we're born in fire, the fire of the Lord. That's the Holy Spirit. But there's yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Father, your will, your will be done, Papa. Your will be done. Your will be done. Your will be done. Your will be done. Oh, your will be done. You will be done, 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 as it is in heaven, but you will be done, hallelujah, you will be done. Thank you, Lord. I pray we stand. I pray we stand. I pray we stand. I pray we stand. That our legs would not be weak. That we would stand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I don't know what yes or no. Jesus, is there anything? Yes, Lord. Stand, stand, stand and be counted, stand and be counted, stand and be counted. Oh, stand and be counted. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, oh, for the battle is already won. Oh, for the battle's already won. Going forth, my angels, assisting and moving. Upon the earth, upon the earth, all I need are my lanterns, my lanterns lifted high, shining my light. And lighting the way, where to go, where to go, where to go, holy checkpoints, your holy checkpoints. Mm. Oh, how you did, yeah. Oh, yeah, that they say, yeah. Oh, yeah, you did, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. I shall. I will. You just tell me. Yes, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, oh. Wow. Wow. Uh Wow. Uh, so, wow, so, uh, yeah, you just got me all over the place, Lord. I, uh, <laughs> okay, so that encounter was so different. It was so unique. That was so different like it it I thought I was having a vision at first but it, it wasn't a vision because I can interact in it like a vision you just really just see it it's like like having a movie played you just see it and there's not really you're not doing anything it was like it was an encounter but but it was like a vision so it was so strange I started to see as I was just worshiping and and I just bowed over in the chair like this, you know? And when I did that, I, I thought I was instantly going into a vision. And I was seeing myself, uh, what, do you, what do you call that? Like, yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Like careening around the side of a mountain, like it just kind of against it. And it was a tiny little space to walk and my back was against it. And I was kind of like going around the side of it. And I'm seeing myself do that. But then I can see around that, around that bend, it was so much light. So I just stopped there where I was and I just knelt down and I heard the Lord said, no, come here. I was like, okay, <laughs> here I come. So I came around the bend and I mean, it was so much light. And I just kind of, you know, just knelt down. I was just, just praying in the spirit. And I just knelt down, just yeah, you know, just Lord. And out of that light, Jesus walked forward and he was just an all white. And he was light. He was light. I mean, I usually see light coming off him. His face can shine and everything, but he was like, even his hands, it's all light. He just looked like all light. He walked, but and it was so interesting because even though he was all light and you could see he was all light and so was his clothes, but I could see the distinction of his clothes versus his body it was just interesting but anyway it's just a side note but he walked up to me and he just placed his hand down on my head and he walked forward and it's 11 11 here and he said come here and so I came forward and he just put his hands out like this and all and he, and off the side of the mountain I could see it just, I don't really know. It didn't look like homes or buildings or anything. It was land, but there was so, it was so much fire being poured out. Fire, 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 fire. And just fire. And, and, and again, in that moment, I, I, for me, because Jesus can, Jesus starts answering my thoughts. Like I start to say something and because he knows my thoughts, he just answers and, um, but he took me back to, and I've mentioned this show once before, um, it's a little cartoon, um, that I've, I watched, probably I had watched that, uh, actually recently threw it in the garbage, but, um, because he started revealing some more things to me about it, but it took me back to the, the cartoon, the avatar, the last airbender. And there was something he revealed to me 
I think it was either in this last summer, I think, or maybe right in the beginning of the summer. I can't remember. Um, but he revealed something to me in the show, the character who's supposed to be the hero, you have the heroes of the show. And uh, it's no coincidence that he was the last airbender. I just, the Holy Spirit just, we can't even get on this right now. But <laughs> the character who was supposed to be the hero, who was made to be the hero was the airbender. So he can manipulate the air to fly and he can manipulate that element. Well, he, it's, I think the word, the terminology for this is Gnostic. It's a Gnostic point of view. They make him the hero, but in reality, he's actually the villain. Okay. He's the villain. <laughs> and he laid, you are just revealing too much to me right now, Lord. He, he was like 12 years old when he found out that he was supposed to be the avatar and all this, they, which was long story short because it's kind of complex he's supposed to be able to save the whole world blah blah when he found out that he was supposed to be that he didn't want to be that so he tried to run away and when he went when he went to run away he uh he was flying and he crashed into the ocean and he froze so he was frozen for a hundred years he was woken up by these two kids who were not trying to do anything with him but they woke him up and one of them happened to be a waterbender so she was able to manipulate the water long story short two of the elements that we know that the enemy likes to manipulate your own work in you have the prince of the power of the air then you have demonic water spirits so anyway them to work together against to try and take down the fire nation so the fire nation apparently starts war against the entire world and uh <laughs> And they threatened to to uh, unleash their fire on the whole world and then rebirth the whole world, you know. And then you have the king of the Fire Nation, and his name was Fire Lord Ozai. And <laughs> and uh, they make him evil, of course. Obviously, he's supposedly evil. So if we flip the 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 script here, you know, one of the things the Lord told me, He said. You know, and it was a, it was just random. I think it was just like making food or something. He said, you know, the fire lord is it was a, you know, the, the fire lord was a crack at me. And I was like, Are we talking about the avatar? <laughs> That's the only fire lord I have ever known. I'm like, is that who we're talking about? He said, Fire Lord o Ozai was a crack at me. They made and and I'm like, Really? And <laughs> of course every the fire nation supposedly the only way they can produce fire is because they're angry I mean, you know they, like they try oh christians are just angry this that and the other they're just trying to do that and he so he started actually talking to me about it and really just opening that up but long story short i say all that to say when i was seeing the fire today the thing that came back to me was like i like i just saw it for just a second was when at the end of the show and the fire nation gets to, and he goes to unleash all the fire to, you know, uh, cleanse the world. Um, so one of the characters said, goodness, Lord, you just revealing all kinds of things. I'm not even going to say it in that, but, um, one of the characters said, that's a lot of fire. And that, that literally just came to me. And I, and, and for a second, I thought, and I, and it just came to me and I just looked at him because he knew what I was thinking. And he's just like, I told you, like, I told you. And I'm like, you, you did tell me, you did tell me. I never even, I mean, I believed you. I just, this is amazing. But he, God is, he is the God of fire. No matter what Satan is trying to act like he controls whatever, he doesn't control anything. And the Lord, the Lord is the one that produces that fire. Even, you know, when they say, oh, the fires of hell, well, who, who put them there? You know, it's just still the Lord. So anyway, back to the encounter, um, just fire, 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 and everything just was on fire. And it's not to, um, it's his spirit. It's his spirit. 
you know, and if, thank you, Holy Spirit. And I'll, and I'll just say that really quick. It, it just, just paralleling that back to that show I was telling you about, they were trying to do everything they could to stop the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in that show. Okay. And that, that was like the plan of the, of the enemy. And at the end of the, at the end of the show, I will say this, at the end of the show, supposedly, uh, supposedly some ancient uh, creature tells the main character how to take the power away from Fire, Fire Lord Ozai because he didn't want to kill him. You know, it's, just, it's all stupid. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, what's amazing, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Lord. Well, there's just a burning in my my goodness burning in my body but the fire that fire one of the things i said what do you want oh thank you Holy Spirit. you just remind me i dropped to my knees and and jesus said no stand and so i stood up and he said pray that everyone's legs will stand i'm like well i just started praying that everyone's legs we just i just declare everyone's legs you know praying over our legs that we'd be able to stand 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 even in the midst of whatever we see we'd be able to stand 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 i've never seen fire like that i've never seen so much fire never um and we were just standing off that rock it was an opening of a uh of a cave is really kind of what i could say it was but that cave was all light there was no no darkness in that cave it was all like and uh it was up on a mountain because i remember he said meet me back on this mountain again say yes lord you know jesus can get serious <laughs> but uh yes lord so very interesting <sighs> so very interesting and i no, that's, that's, it's so strange, but this morning, so last night, I got to for a pack couple of days. I'm like, Lord, what do you want me to do for service? You know, you haven't really told me anything. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, last night, this morning, it was like maybe five minutes till six. My son gets up, comes to the room. He was like, oh, I had a bad dream. Prayed over him, loosed it from his soul. Said, okay, you're fine. Go back to sleep. He goes goes back and lays down. And like one minute till six, he comes back. And he's like, I still have, you know, whatever. And I was like, yeah, sweetheart, you're okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. You're not afraid. Go potty and then go back to sleep. He said, Okay. Goes body goes right back to sleep instantly, right? I lay down and my alarm clock goes off. My alarm clock goes off at six. My phone it just beeps, you know. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> and it's it's an alarm and it's just like spend time with God. And I was like, oh, oh man, I felt tired. And I said, I was like, Lord, I'm tired. Uh, like very tired. I said, what is, you know, and I started saying, you know, good morning, Jesus, good morning, good morning, Papa, good morning, Holy Spirit, good morning, you know, I was just kind of like, uh. and in that second, something shifted, and I felt like, I don't know what it felt like, something just shifted, and I, I just, it was like, I don't know. It's hard to explain. This has never happened to me before. I've never, never experienced a trance before in my life. But it was like I went into this trance where I just continued to say literally over and over these two. I said, Psalm 128, Psalm 129, Psalm 128, Psalm 120. Did I never stop? But at the same time, I thought, am I asleep? Because I can't get up. I can't get up and do anything. Like, I feel like I'm asleep. But I felt like this had to have been just a couple of minutes, maybe. I was like, I don't think it could have been long. Well, I woke up at like 9, 10, literally 9, 10 on the dot. But I was still in that Psalm 128, Psalm 129, 
Psalm 128, Psalm 129. That's it. I just continued to say that. My eyes were closed and I thought, am I dreaming? I mean, I was like, I don't think I'm dreaming because I had my own mind. You know, like I have my mind. I don't think I'm dreaming. But I have never been in a trance, but it was like I was in that trance. And I was like, I was just seeing these numbers, 128, 129. And I was even seeing, you know, flip the like flip the page here, flip the page back, flip the page here, flip the page back. I mean, it was just like poo do 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 and it just kept going. So then when I woke up, it was 9 10. I looked over and I look over. I'm like, I grab the phone, look at it. I'm like. And I said, was I asleep? Was I awake? What in the world? I was like, never had, never had that happen to me before. And I said, I'm like, was I in a trance? Because that's what I felt like. I felt like I was just like stuck doing that. But I felt rested, you know, when I, when I came out of it, I felt rested. I didn't feel like I was tired. I was like, wow, it was, went on for a while. Went on for like three hours. Um, but yeah, that's never happened. So we're going, and then, so it's just, just the craziness. I promise. It's just, I'm like, this is, then I, then I get up then this morning and I hear from a friend of mine, very, very, uh, wonderful family friend. Yeah. That number three family friend of mine. And, you know, she tells me what's going on in her life all of a sudden haven't heard from her in a long while and it literally is like a, I thought I was talking to Taylor it was literally like she just said took Taylor's life and was like let me just read you this story and I was just like I felt like I was in the twilight zone what I was like what what wait what I'm like okay well we're gonna deal with that too I don't even know I'm like but now I just feel like Lord then I'm trying to get to read Psalm 128, Psalm 129, and that didn't happen. And I was like, Lord, I don't even try. I didn't even have a chance to read it, but I'm going to read it now. <sighs> wow. Psalm 128. Blessedness of the fear of the Lord. Blessed. Happy and sheltered by God's favor is everyone who fears the Lord and worships him with obedience. Not just it worships him. It's got to be obedience. Who walks in his ways and lives according to his commandments. For you shall eat the fruit of the labor of your hands. You will be happy and blessed and it will be well with you. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine. Hold on, Lord. That'd be producing a whole lot. 